Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Juice Baseball channel, and welcome back to another episode of the Toronto Blue Jays Legends Fantasy Draft Series here on MLB The Show 24. In the last episode, we had the postseason. We participated in the postseason, not just participating. We were the number one overall seed, not just in the AL, but in all of Major League Baseball. We won 108 games, by far the best team in baseball. The Yankees won 95 games, and then, as you can see, the Yankees, who only won 95 games, beat us in the, D in the ALDS 3-1. to one. It was a sad, sad day. The Yankees ended up going all the way to the World Series and losing to their crosstown rivals, the Mets, which is kind of a wild World Series. But that leads us to the post or to the offseason. Not to the postseason, we just got that done. That leads us to the offseason. And I don't really know what there is for us to do. If we take a look at the lineup, I like the way the lineup looks. Maybe there's some small changes here and there. Maybe like replacing one guy, two guys. I don't know. The pitching rotation I felt like did okay. Jose Fernandez, he did get destroyed in his one game that he pitched. But I feel like overall, some of the ERAs are a little bit high, to be fair. But that's just one singular game. Everybody here did really, really well in the regular season. So I don't know. I don't really know what the moves are that need to be made. Maybe there are no moves that need to be made in the po in the offseason, but we will go and uh, find that out. Let's start the offseason. If you're curious about the stats for the postseason, the awards, everything like that, go check out the last two episodes. We go through all of that stuff, the regular season awards, the regular season stats, and then the postseason, all that kind of stuff. So if you're curious about all that, go look at the last couple episodes. Link down below in the description. And our contract has come up to uh, an end. So, luckily, the Blue Jays are offering us a contract to come back, which would have been devastating uh, if they didn't. But they are offering us another three-year contract, I'm assuming. We could go to the Mariners, the Tigers, or the Braves, but this is obviously a Blue Jays series. So, we will re-sign with the Toronto Blue Jays, and we are back on a new contract. Retired players, we lose Chapman and Nick Martinez. Unfortunately, um, even if you do make the guys better, you can't change their ages. So... All of the old guys will just end up retiring in the in the next couple of seasons anyway. It does kind of suck, but it's it's what happens. So let's take a look at our new contract. So we've got a new three-year contract. Our goal yearly is to win the division, which I do think we can do pretty consistently. And now our new three-year contract goal is to win a World Series, which we've already done once in the three-year contract that we started the series with. And year number two, we won the World Series, but we could not go back to back. So doing it again, I think, is possible. We've got two exclusive free agents, which are Kenley Jansen and Kirby Yates. I'm going to re-sign these guys simply for depth on the minor league side of things. So, ooh, he was not interested in that at all. Hold on. Kirby, we'll give you a little bit better contract here. There we go. Okay, so just bring those guys back simply for purposes of depth. Review the staff. We're going to keep AJ Hinch on our team as our manager. He did a really good job. So, we're going to keep him around. And I like everybody else. I mean, we've got A plus or we've got A grades all around, and everybody's not giving nobody's giving us negative um, hindrances. The only hindrance we get is a negative three plate vision, but I don't really think that matters too much. Maybe it does. Maybe that's why we lost. I don't know. It could there could be a multitude of different things why we lost, but we're gonna keep the staff the same. Next year's off season, we will have to do some major. Uh, reordering of the staff because we've got three position coaches who are one year left so they will be up on their contracts next year but it doesn't look like we have to do anything else we're not going to rebrand the team or anything so let's just get opening up actual free agency it's the last day to offer qualifying offers we didn't have anything like that <laughs> and it looks like uh kirby yates and kenley jansen both accepted their exclusive tags so let's open up free agency all right, here we go. We've got arbitration we can offer. It doesn't look like there's that many. There's only four, so we can do that very quickly. And remember, salary cap in a series like this does not matter. We do not, salary cap is not even on. So salary cap does not matter. We can pay whoever we want, whenever we want, however much we want. So that's that's a little thing that I don't really talk about too much, but 
It's just because it's kind of obvious. So let's take a look at free agency. So Sandy Koufax is here. Was he on the Orioles last year? Yes, he was. He was an Oriole. Uh, and yes, it looks like uh, the glitches have happened where instead of saying 1960, it says 2060. Uh, that usually happens in a series like this where they get messed up on certain creative players. Uh, so it looks like he's played in the 2060s and the 2050s. But I think it only happens to guys that you download from the, the community center. Although I don't think Sandy Koufax is one of those guys. I don't remember. I think it happens with it's certain. Obviously, it's happening now with him. But it does not a big deal. So if we take a look at starting pitchers, I don't think there's a starting pitcher on here that I would rather have than the five that we have. I mean, Sandy Koufax is cool. How did he do last year? He went seven and ten with a four six five and a one three nine WHIP with a two WAR. I mean, he didn't pitch near as good as the pitchers that we had. I mean, Johan Santana killed it. Randy Johnson really turned it around at the end of last year. Jose did a really good job in the regular season, not so much in the postseason, but a really good regular season. Bob Gibson killed it, as he always does. Pedro was a little bit hit harder, but he still pitched really well down the stretch. So, I mean, I like all of our guys better than any pitcher that they have in free agency, so we're not going to go anybody here. Relief pitching, on the other hand, maybe deserves a look. We've got Vita Blue. We made the trade for Bob Feller at the deadline. We got Raleigh Fingers. We've got Goose Gossage. We've got Felix Batista, and we've got Mariano Rivera. Now, Mariano Rivera is very known in these MLB The Show series to significantly decrease and significantly regress after a couple years. He's already down to an 82. So he severely regresses. So we might have to look to replace him. And Felix Batista, it may look like he did very good uh, this year, but I think he really turned it around halfway through because obviously you see his numbers last year. He got destroyed last year as our main closer until we switched it with Rivera. But at the beginning, he was our main closer, as you can see, by 16 saves. Uh, and he did not do a very, very good job at all last year. So I think he pitched better this year, but he I, I'm pretty sure at the beginning of the year he was kind of struggling again. But Goose Gossage, I like, you know what? I don't even think we could do anything with the bullpen. I kind of like the bullpen the way that it is. Although we do have two open spots on the roster. Maybe we do need to bring somebody in from free agency. Or we could just upgrade from within. Like maybe Pablo finally gets an opportunity. He was up here, I think, for the postseason, but he got called back down. Maybe one of these shortstops. I mean, we do have Julian German, who's an 85 overall. I've talked about how he's possibly going to get the shot. I might even just bring him up. I mean, he looks like a freak. He looks like an absolute freak. I might just bring up Julian German this this season or i guess it could be herman but i'm gonna call him german left field we got some decent depth center field i guess could be andrew mccutcheon i don't know let's keep looking at free agency closing pitchers brian wilson's interesting he had a really solid oh my god he had a really good year did he win an award no he didn't even win reliever of the year he had a really killer year 48 saves Maybe we add Brian Wilson to the bullpen. I would not hate that at all. Jose Alvarado had a pretty solid year in terms of getting saves, but his ERA was pretty high with 54 innings. I think Brian Wilson, how many innings did he pitch? He pitched 58 innings, and he only had, like, these are crazy numbers for 58 innings. I think Brian Wilson's our top candidate right now. Catchers, we don't really need a catcher. We've got a couple good ones. First base, there's certainly nobody better here than what we have. Second base, Ozzy Albies is cool, but he doesn't really fit in with what we're trying to do. Third base, nobody better than what we have. Shortstop, Hassan Kim is cool, but not nowhere near better than what we got. And then left field, no. Center field, Duke Schneider. I probably should just sign Duke Schneider because he's always a menace whenever I play against him, <laughs> but I'm not going to do that because that's just a waste. Smooth Jazz, Cody Bellinger, Willie Mays. All fine players, but not really the direction we're going to go. And then Frank Robinson and nobody else here. Man, there's really nobody here that I'd rather have than a guy that we have already on the team. That's kind of a good thing, except for Brian Wilson. I think the only offer we make is for Brian Wilson. Maybe we get him on a four-year deal and we spend a little bit more money, try to pay him a good amount. Maybe we pay him 20 mil over four years. I think that could work. 
and he likes that a lot better than the eight-year contract the Giants are trying to lock him down to. So I'm assuming he's going to accept that, and we'll be good to go. The only other things we need to do are tendering contracts, which we absolutely need to renew the contract of Julian German. So we will do that. Jace Young will get his contract back. We'll pay him about 900 k Takoa Roby will get his renewed. And they're the only guys that need to be renewed. So I'm going to do this off camera since it'll take slightly longer if I do it normally. So do that off camera real quick, but we can get these all done right here. We'll just submit the offers that they're giving me, the suggested offers, because I don't really care about negotiating too difficult with these guys. Like they're all <laughs> 73 and lower. It's not that big of a deal if, they, if we have to pay them $2 million. What, what's that going to do? So all of that has been offered. We have to go now and tender contracts. We already offered Brian Wilson. So I'm going to go do this really quickly and I'll be back in a second. Okay. So all of the contracts have been offered or tendered or whatever. So we're good on that. Still got the offer on Brian Wilson. Let's simulate a little bit and see if Brian actually accepts the deal or not. And there it is. Our only signing of this free agency is probably going to be Brian Wilson. Four years, 80 million, a 97 overall. Sandy Koufax decides to sign a nine-year deal. 132 million with the Tigers. That's actually wild. So he leaves the Orioles to go to the Tigers. And we add another bullpen arm, which can only help. It can only help. And he might actually just be our closer this season. We might just have Mariano move to a setup role until he starts to regress too heavily. And Brian Wilson, after the season that he had with 48 saves and a sub-2 ERA and a sub-1 whip, whip, we might just give him the role. I mean, we paid him $80 million over four years to do something. So that leaves us with one spot left to fill, and that might go to Julian German. I know we probably should just bring up Andrew McCutcheon because why is he down here in AAA if not to eventually get called up? But I really want to see what this guy can do. So we're going to call up Julian. He's going to play some sort of role on the team he's already in 85 overall at 19 years old i'm pretty sure he has 90, 99 potential he's probably the greatest draft pick i've ever made in mlb the show in all of the series i've done with the reds the royals the padres the uh the yankees who like whoever i've done this guy's probably the best i've ever had he's just a freak and he was a freak from the jump and he's only 19 years old. Yes, I could call up Jackson Holiday or Elliot of the Cruz, but I've got German. He can play second base and third base uh, alongside his primary shortstop. So that's going to be fun for next year. That's for sure. That is going to be super, super fun for next season. We probably should bring in some guys in free agency to fill out a couple of spots in the minor league system because as you can see we have two spots open in triple a and then one spot open in double a we don't really have that big of a farm system so what kind of positions do we need to bring in we're pretty low at second base and we're pretty low in the outfield so let's just go to free agency and go to second base and then sign some guys that we can just store in the minor league system kind of like a cavin biggio type of player not a five-year deal, that's for sure. A two-year deal, we have to pay him a little bit. This is a lot of money for a minor league guy. You know what, I'm probably not going to do that. That's a little bit too much money for a guy that's solely going to be in the minors. So let's just go for a guy, I don't even know, maybe like Jonathan Aranda. That probably fits a little bit better. Yeah, he's a lot cheaper. So a three-year deal, a million dollars per year. That'll add another second baseman to the minor league system, and we probably should go for another second baseman since we're very, very thin at that position. But who's it going to be? It can't be anybody too name brand because they're going to be a little bit too expensive, I think. What about Whit Merrifield? I know he's name brand, but oh, he's very cheap. Very, very cheap. Okay, Whit, you're going to go down and play some AAA ball probably. And then left field was also a little bit thin, so let's go out here and look for somebody else. Eli, uh, Eloy Jimenez could be fun. He's going to be very expensive, but maybe a two-year deal for him to play minor league baseball could be pretty fun. Might want to try that out. Jock Peterson could be cool. I don't want to go for anybody that's qualified, probably, because that would lose me some draft picks. What about J.J. Blade? Maybe we get him on a three-year contract, pay him like $3 million. 
any center fielders that would fit the role that we're looking for. Hmm. We could go with Nick Castellanos because he's legendary at hitting home runs when bad things happen. And you know what? I kind of he's not very expensive. I kind of want to do that. We're gonna offer him a contract. I know he's he's one of those guys that are qualified, but it probably would be like a second round pick or something. It's not that big of a deal. And then is there anybody else? Starling Marte could be cool. There's the other Andrew McCutcheon. This is the current day one, not the one that we have. Um, is there anybody else that I would want to bring to the squad? Probably not. I think we've pretty much got everything that we need to do. Maybe a third baseman? Is there anybody down here that's cheap? There's Chipper. Chip. But he is not the guy I'm looking for. Um, I don't really think there is anybody else. I think the guys that we have negotiations with are going to be good enough to get the job done. I mean, we could bring in older Prince Fielder, but does that really do anything for us? Probably not. Maybe it brings in some tickets. Oh, there's Joey Votto. He was on our team at one point. You know, I'll bring back Joey Votto. We could do that and then bring in some tickets for the AAA squad. <laughs> All right, so those are going to be my offers. We're going to simulate a couple days. Big trade! The Braves acquire Nolan Gorman from the Rockies for the Fresh Prince, Will Smith, and Brenton Doyle. Okay, so a big trade in the offseason. Evan Phillips signs a three-year deal with the Yankees. Brian Abreu goes to the Dodgers for a four-year deal. And Pete Fairbanks heading to Kansas City for a three-year deal. Okay, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Only one guy is left on his tender contract. Did we get everybody? Ooh, Castellanos is the only guy that hasn't signed yet. So let me just go make sure that my team is is correct. So we want to make sure all these guys... So who's in the majors? That shouldn't be because there's 29 guys now in the majors. So who is in the big leagues that shouldn't be? I guess I could go to... MLB roster and see. Oh, it's Eloy. They put Eloy in the majors. Okay, well, he's going to go down to AAA. Thank you very much. We probably, you know what? It's going to drop us down to 26 guys, isn't it? So we probably need to move some guys down. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send... I'm going to keep German up. He's going to make the team. Actually, I can't make these decisions right now because it's going to go to the spring training roster anyway, so what does it matter? We'll move Bleday down to AA... We'll move, uh, not Kittredge. Ah, maybe Kittredge. Who cares? We'll move him to Class A. We can always move those guys back around if we need to. Okay, arbitration is looking good. Let's keep moving. 40-man roster. I think we have the 40-man that we want. I'm pretty sure we do. Is there anybody in AA that needs to be on the 40-man roster? No, everybody here I could be okay with losing. Fernando Cruz could be cool, but if he gets taken, it's not the end of the world. And he's not really that high of an overall anyway, so... Everybody here... Ooh, Jace Young probably needs to be on the 40-man. He could get taken. I don't really want him to be. And we don't have anybody or any free space. So maybe he doesn't need to be on the 40-man? Jose Abreu doesn't need to be on the 40-man. He's not going to ever get called up, I don't think. So we'll take him off the 40-man and put Jace... Up there. I'd rather have him on the 40 man than Jose Abreu. And nobody's going to claim him, I wouldn't think. So. And then you got Nolan Ryan. We don't really need Nolan Ryan on the 40 man roster, if we're being totally honest. So he can go off. And then somebody can fill his spot. Who that is, I don't really know. Maybe we do need uh, Nolan Ryan on the 40 man. Because I didn't really have a plan for anybody else, so. Can I put him back on there? <laughs> Add, no, I can't because he's currently on waivers. Uh, I didn't really have a plan to take anybody else off. You know what? I'll leave that spot open in case something else pops up. So let's continue simulating. Matt Holiday traded from the Cubs to the Pirates for Jared Kalenic and Brian Broom. Jesus Lazardo uh, signed a deal with the Cubs six years. Today's last day off arbitration. We are good on that. Let's keep simulating through November. Now we're into December. Uh, tender contracts. We did all that stuff, so we're good there. Adbert Alzale. I never knew how to pronounce his name. Two-year deal with the Rangers. <laughs> uh, Jose Alvarado goes to the Cubs for a seven-year deal. They're getting a bargain there. 
Alex Bregman traded from the Brewers to the Diamondbacks for Caden Dana, Dana, Caden Dana, I would assume, and Josh Hernandez. So two young prospects for a 33-year-old. All right, whatever. We go through the winter meetings, and now it's time for the draft lottery. Obviously, we were in a deep postseason run, so we're not going to have a good lottery spot, but it's not that big of a deal. We're trying to win World Series. We're not trying to win the draft. We already won the draft with Julian German. And it looks like the Twins will move up one spot to get the number one overall pick. Good for them. Where are the Reds at? The Reds are 20th. Oh, 85 and 77 last year? Okay, Cincinnati. Love to see it. Patrick Sandoval signing with the Yankees on a four-year deal. Ryan Mountcastle Matt Castle signing with the Reds for a five-year deal. Uh, today is the Rule 5 draft. I assume nobody's going to get taken. Oh, a couple catchers got taken. Good luck with that, but I'm guessing nobody goes and nobody does. It. Only two players get... Why is the Rule 5 draft even a thing? Geraldo Perdoma traded from the Yankees to the Rangers for Dylan Lesko and Brooke, uh, Booker Colbert. So a couple young prospects for Perdoma. Okay. Rangers making some moves. Frank Robinson signs with the Mets, the defending World Series champions. And Whitey Ford going to the Yankees on a one-year deal. Few moves. Buck Leonard signed with the Phillies on a four-year deal. And we are coming up to the end of free agency. Al Leiter going to the Braves. Cody Bellinger signs with the, a the A's. Very, very interesting. Very Zito headed to the Rangers. Rangers making a lot of moves. Jason Veritek going to the Cardinals. And here comes arbitration. John Smoltz headed to the Rockies. Hilton Smith going to the White Sox. The panel, arbitration panel, sided with us for Adam Kolarik. They sided with us for Yancy Almonte. They sided with us for Jalen Beeks. And they sided with us for Jose Trevino. So it looks like the worse you are, the better the odds are that the panel is going to side with the team. The better you are, the panel is going to side with you. But Duke Schneider headed to L.A. on a seven-year deal to go play with the Dodgers. And a one-year deal for Willie Mays to the Twins. And the Twins also get Rafael Palmero. Randy Rosarena going to the Red Sox. Tyler O'Neill to the Marlins. Tanner Houck, Hulk, Hulk <laughs> to the Padres. A lot of big names going here in February. And another trade, Diamondbacks pretty active. Tom Henke traded to the Diamondbacks from the Reds for some younger prospects, Angel Martinez and Luke Gold. The Reds really must just wanted to get rid of Tom Henke because they didn't really get anything of value back in return of that. And it looks like spring training is around the corner in a couple of days. And that is our free agency. We don't really need to do anything else. We are actually first in a lot of different categories. Look at that. Center field's ninth, which is a little bit upsetting. Third base is eighth. But I'm very excited about the regular season. We will make the team the team that we need to do for the uh, fourth season. And then the next episode will be year number four starting. So... Let's get to spring training done and dusted. Here we go. That is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, and join the Juice Club. Let me know down below in the comments if you liked the not-so-massive of moves. I mean, we, we made a big move in bringing in Brian Wilson. That is for sure. We certainly did do that. But I feel like, in general... We didn't really do much, and we didn't really need to. We already have a pretty solid team that won 108 games last year. Why ruin it too much? And I'm just assuming that we're going to win over 100 games again this year. Hopefully that's the case. I mean, we paid all this money for all these great players. Why not win 100 games? Just hopefully this time, if we win 100 games, we actually follow through and win more than just an ALDS. We actually go back to the World Series and win the World Series. Because, yes, the rebuild is technically over because... Well, not really a rebuild, but the... The overall goal is technically completed because we did win a World Series in year number two, but I want to win more than that, obviously. So hopefully year number four is the starting point, the kickstart for us to win a plethora of World Series championships. But that is going to do it for this episode. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I truly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.